Guys, I'm confused. Third function, diverter, rear remote, grapple ready. Okay, these are common terms that kind of all apply to the same type of remote that we're gonna talk about today. That's where the confusion lies, right? There's so many names, there's very little standardization. I'm gonna give you my take on it. It might not be your take, but it's how I'm going to explain it to you if we have a conversation. I did a video recently about 15 attachments for a third function. Several of the comments in that video said I got it wrong on what a third function is. And that's what I wanna to discuss today, is how do we interpret a third function? Is there a standardized system? Or do we kind of have to read between the lines, maybe visually see the machine that we're looking to buy, figure out what we need to set up our equipment, and the position of it on the front, in the middle, or the back? Does any of it really even matter? I'd love to get your feedback, so leave a comment down below. We can all help each other and learn a little bit more. The goal is to get smarter every day. So if you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below if you haven't done so already. And as always, read through the description underneath the video, all sorts of helpful links right down there for cool tractor products, or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. All right, let's get to it. dissect this a little bit we are talking about a function all right not the third it could be the first the second the fourth the fifth but a function in general on a hydraulic system could be called a circuit as well pretty much any modern era tractor that has a front end loader is going to have two hydraulic circuits so you'll have two hoses down here with corresponding outlets that are on your machine that is going to be one hydraulic circuit it allows the flow to go this way and maybe raise your loader up and then it allows the flow to come back through the other hose the other direction so that you could lower your loader as well. Now, if we work our way up, this next set of hoses is gonna be the second function or the second hydraulic circuit. So if the flow goes through the hose this way, it's going to allow you to curl the bucket back. If the flow comes back this direction, it's gonna allow you to dump the bucket. Now, what you see here on top is going to be that additional function or this additional hydraulic circuit. So what that allows you to do is maintain the first two circuits add on a third function. So if you have a grapple connected to your front end loader, not only can you raise and lower, you can curl and roll, you can also open and close. And again, that's controlled by hydraulic flow going one direction or another direction through those hoses. So two hoses kind of makes a circle or a loop and allows that functionality to be complete, that circuit to be complete going both directions. So now that we have a basic understanding of what a third hydraulic circuit is, let's explain the different variations of what that is. Primarily a third function versus a diverter kit. They're gonna both give you a additional hydraulic circuit, that third circuit that you need to run something like a grapple. However, they're gonna function differently. Let's dive into that now. Now, I don't want you to pay too much attention to the location of these hoses, the location of these couplers, the location of this third circuit. More importantly, I want you to understand that what's found on my 4066R, for example, is gonna be a third function control. So this is a factory option. You can get aftermarket third functions as well, but this is gonna be plumbed into your tractor's hydraulic system in a way that allows you to control not just the first and the second, but the first, second, and third hydraulic functions all at the exact same time. So you can run hydraulic flow from your tractor through all of those hoses, all three of those circuits, to raise and lower at the same time as you curl and roll, and at the same time as you open and close a grapple. For example, third functions can be used for other attachments. I'm not focusing on that. We're just focusing on functionality. Now the other primary variation of that third hydraulic circuit is known as a diverter kit or a diverter valve. So instead of being able to use the first circuit, that second circuit, and the third circuit at the same time, you're going to tee in to those hoses, into the fittings that are part of that curl roll function. So you're gonna tap into that second hydraulic circuit. You're gonna put in a diverter, hence the name, which is essentially going to have a solenoid or a little valve on it. So it's going to send a, a signal to the solenoid, solenoid. Solenoid. Chris gives me garbage for that all the time. The point being, you're going to get an electrical circuit, it's going to divert the flow from your curl roll function, and as long as you have that uh, redirection going on, it's going to send that hydraulic flow to your third circuit to instead of curling and rolling, you can then open and close. So you are diverting the flow from that second curl roll function to the third function of opening and closing the grapple. So as you can see, a diverter kit is a way to get that third additional, that third hydraulic circuit. However, you just can't use all three circuits at the same time. 
Okay, so if you've made it this far, let's see if this next part confuses you. Is a third function and a rear remote the same thing? Well, I'm gonna make the case that it does not matter if it's on the front or the back of your tractor. Now, before we get to that, I need to explain what we have going on here because if three functions just isn't enough for you, well, get yourself 10 functions like what I have right here. It might be a little bit overkill, but I wanna go through it really quick because it gets kind of confusing and intimidating. Now, we're not gonna count the two functions that are up front for the front end loader. Besides that, there's eight additional hydraulic circuits that we could have back here. So right here, you're gonna have your third function these lines are actually plumbed up with some soft hoses going all the way up front to run the gravel. Then you're gonna have a fourth function down here. And then we've sacrificed our fifth function and plugged it into this hydraulic multiplier you see up top. This is gonna give us six additional functions. You can see there's a couple extra circuits here or functions that are not being used right now, but we have the ability to do so if we should ever need it. Remember, just like the third function, you need two quick couplers to complete a hydraulic circuit or a function, whether it's the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth. I don't want you to think that you can run 10 hydraulic circuits at one time because compact tractors simply can't do that. There's not that much hydraulic capacity or flow rate to do so. And in fact, controlling just two functions like raising and lowering and maybe curling and rolling at the same time can be challenging enough even for a semi-experienced operator like myself, trying to throw on a third function, such as opening and closing a grapple while controlling those other two, I'm not very good at that. But just because you can't use six or seven at the same time doesn't mean that you don't need to have six or seven or eight circuits hooked up in my case. And I'll give you the quick rundown as I have it set up right now. I have eight total functions connected right now. The first function will raise and lower the front end loader. The second function will curl and roll a bucket or a grapple in this case. The third function is going to open and close the jaws of the grapple. Now the fourth and the fifth are gonna control the top and tilt kit that I have, while the sixth, seventh, and eighth function are gonna control the hydraulic chute rotation, the hydraulic deflector, and the hydraulic back drag. Now fortunately, I don't have to use all of those circuits at the same time because I don't have enough arms and I don't have enough brain power. Most of these functions here are just momentary needs, but nobody wants to be hopping on and off a tractor, connecting or disconnecting hoses from one circuit to another circuit and vice versa every time you need to do it. Very inefficient. So to control that big shiny multiplier back there, I simply use this little switch panel right here to select the circuit I want to turn on, flip that button, and then actuate it with a lever and then turn it back off. So if you're looking for an affordable way to add on additional hydraulic capability to your tractor, you need to check out these hydraulic multipliers from Summit Hydraulics. Now, if this wasn't sweet enough by itself, it gets even sweeter when you can get 5% off with code GWT at Summit Hydraulics. So a couple folks took issue with a statement or a general theme of a recent video I did on 15 attachments that prove the value of a third function because I included attachments that were mounted on the backside of a tractor, not just mounted to your loader. It was their interpretation that a third function was ran right up front and something connected up there and operated that way. Nothing to do with the backside. If you have this additional function on the backside of your tractor, that's called a rear remote. And so that's why this is so confusing because this John Deere 4066R, I purchased it with a rear remote and a third function, which are the same exact thing. And in fact, even inside the cab, right underneath the third function control, which is just a push button right on my loader joystick, it's got a little Roman numeral for three, right? And when I received this tractor, that third function terminated on the back side of the machine, right back here. It did not have these hoses plugged into it and running up front. That's something I added on after the fact, but it was identified by John Deere as a third function and the outlets terminated on the back side of the tractor. So if you're new to the tractor world, Welcome to the confusion. <laughs> you know, I think you just need to have a good understanding of what that third function capability can do and realize there's a way to route that functionality towards the front of the tractor or on the backside. But having that additional hydraulic circuit, that's the important part. So similar to the factory third function that's on the 4066R, a diverter kit that's giving you that third function or that third circuit could be mounted up front it could also be mounted on the backside. The tractor does not care either way because wherever you need that additional hydraulic circuit, you're going to care about that. So if you have something mounted on the backside of your tractor, like a snowblower that needs to have a hydraulic chute rotation, 
that's where you want the third function. Or if you need it mounted up front to have that third circuit up here to control a grapple, that's important to you as the operator. But a third function, in my opinion, could be mounted on the front, could be mounted on the back, it doesn't really matter. So part of a diverter kit, besides the hoses and the solenoid and the lines that go up front or maybe to the back, is gonna be a new joystick that you get to control that entire operation. So this new joystick is going to include controls to operate that third function or, in this case, a diverter kit. Let's talk about price. You know, you wanna get that additional hydraulic circuit on your tractor on the front or the back, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money. Well, a diverter kit might be the way to go. Typically, you're gonna spend five or 600 bucks, maybe somewhere in that ballpark, to get a diverter kit and get that additional circuit mounted on your tractor. However, if you wanna get a factory third function, like what you see on my 4066R, you could spend possibly 2,000, maybe even $2,500 if you get those grapple lines that run all the way up front as well. So if you wanna get the functionality of the third circuit, but you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on completing that process, maybe a Summit Diverter Kit could be the solution for you. And like that hydraulic multiplier, you can get 5% off with code GWT. You just go to summit-hydraulics.com. There's a link right down below. Do some shopping on there, find the right kit for you. We've done a video on how to install this kit. We've also done a field video of this as well, so you can see it in action out there, picking up brush and logs and other debris with a WorkSaver Mini Grapple. This is a really great combination for a subcompact or smaller compacts as well. So my interpretation, if I'm listing a tractor for sale, having a conversation with the customer, I'm going to identify if it's a diverter or if it's a third function, I'm gonna let them know. But that does not mean that it's ran all the way up front and ready to plumb in a grapple right at the end of the loader arms. But if you do have hoses or lines ran all the way up front to the very business end of your front end loader, I am going to go a step further and call that grapple ready because you don't have to invest the cost to run lines from the back of the tractor all the way up front okay, or from the midpoint all the way up front, you already have those lines there. So that's an extra cost that you don't have to consider or worry about, it's already done. But if your third function, your third circuit, your diverter terminates on the backside of your tractor, all you need to do is just get some soft hoses made up, plug them in back there, route them all the way up front to your loader, and you're ready to go. The important part is having that third circuit on your tractor. So maybe that helps you, maybe it doesn't. But for me, when I'm looking for tractors, because that's what I do, I buy used tractors and I resell them. If I see something has that third additional circuit, whether it's a true factory third function or a diverter kit, to me, in my opinion, having that third circuit of some kind on your tractor, that's the valuable part that's gonna open up the versatility and make it more appealing to future customers like yourself. And really, the other big takeaway for me is the fact that with compact tractors in general, they have a pretty limited flow rate for hydraulics. So it's really challenging to run three functions at one time, let alone two functions at one time, because there's simply not the hydraulic flow and the mental capacity, at least for me, to operate all those smoothly and succinctly. So investing that money into a cheaper diverter kit still allows me to get the job done, but at a lower cost. So I've given you my interpretation of what a third function is, but now it's time to hear yours. So leave a comment right down below. And as always, if you like this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below if you haven't done so already, and read through the description as well. All sorts of helpful links down there for cool tractor products, or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. Until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.